What's going on guys, I'm Super Rebel and today I'm going to be talking about why the Mafia 3 teaser trailer that we received yesterday could be real and why it could be fake. Now if you didn't see the trailer, here it is. Now hopefully this video will give you the answers to the questions that you may have had before, but before we get into the video, let's do a little vote. Now if you guys are positive and have a lot of hope in the Mafia 3 team that this game will be announced this year and we are going to get an official trailer and even some gameplay, then like the video, or if you are someone who is pretty much sure that this game will not be announced this year, but maybe next year or the year after and possibly release next year or the year after, then go ahead and dislike like the video. You guys already know what I'm going to be voting for because I know the game will be announced this year. I have so much hope so leave your vote down below though and let's continue into the video. So after the trailer was released yesterday, a lot of you guys were saying in the comments that this is definitely fake. Now I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. There is actually no right or wrong answer. At this moment in time, it is literally floating on opinions. No one can actually say that trailer was real and no Nobody can actually go ahead and say it was completely fake. Now a lot of people noticed that the last lines that were in the trailer were in fact straight from Mafia 2 at the very end. And this is what made a lot of people say that the trailer is fake. Now here is my theory. Now, if you think about it, it is kind of smart because Mafia 3 is supposedly meant to continue the story for Mafia 2 which actually left on a cliffhanger because nobody knows what happened to Joe. We don't know if he's dead or what, we have no idea and of course like you said it was on a cliffhanger so this is where Mafia 3 is going to be picking up from. Now this as I said makes a lot of sense for them to say the last words of Mafia 2 in the Mafia 3 teaser trailer because it's kind of like a little a recap and it's just kind of continuing the story. Quite similar to films I guess you could say or even TV programs if you watch a lot of them or if you did back in the day you would know from like a last episode they always do a flashback in the next episode or next series which makes a lot of sense because it's kind of like a recap. Now I completely understand this is a game and not a TV show but the point is it's a smart move and I guess builds excitement as well because don't forget this is meant to be a teaser trailer, you're meant to get teased, so they're definitely going to add that cliffhanger to get people thinking again what happened to Joe, because that's what everybody was thinking after Mafia 2, and considering that game was a long time ago now, I guess half of the people don't even probably think about it now, so that is why I think it's smart, because it's instantly going to get the old fans thinking what happened. Now a lot of people were saying that it's spoiling the game for people who haven't already played it, but if you think about it, that is kind of stupid because the game's really old now. It is a huge spoiler, I know, but they know they have a lot of old Mafia 2 fans, which is why they are going to give that reference. And for anyone new to the series, it's kind of like a little way to go and push them to go and play Mafia 2 so they actually have a better understanding on what's going to happen. Now, here's the reason why it could be fake. Why the fuck is there an IGN logo? That's the first thing that stood out to me. Why in the world would there be an IGN logo and nothing said from IGN? That's kinda at the stage I'm at right now that I can't actually find an answer to, but it's not exactly 100% saying it's fake, it's just kinda out of place. Now this supposedly was behind closed doors for journalists and one of you guys was saying if that's the case, why was there a huge crowd and a lot of cheering? Well, it's not just going to be one journalist, there's probably quite a lot of them and it would be kind of awkward if there was complete silence, I mean come on. I'd be really fucking awkward if I just showcased my game to a lot of journalists and then they were just dead silent after. That's saying something. Now to be honest, there's not a lot of reasons given away that it's fake, but the last one that I guess you could add in is right at the end of the trailer it quickly said 2016 and then went blank and apparently you could see some seats reflecting now what this means or what this is I have no idea but it's kind of weird because if it was a big showcase you wouldn't really see the reflecting seats I guess I'm not really too sure that's for you guys to tell me in the comment section below because I've never been to a big event or any sort of event that's behind closed doors and seeing a game in a big screen but 
from what I'm just looking at, it seems a bit strange. But like I said, there's not a lot of reasons saying that this is fake. In fact, there are a lot more reasons saying it's real, as I've mentioned throughout the video. But like I said, there is never going to be a right or wrong answer at this moment in time. I guess we can still only wait until Gamescom, or maybe later than that as well. But at this moment, nobody is right, I'm not right, or I'm not wrong either. And none of you guys are either. There's just no official answer to this at all. It's just all based and opinions is getting excited but let me know what you think in the comment section below and that about wraps up the video subscribe for more mafia free news and i'll catch you guys in the next one but till then adios amigos